my fellow jazz nerd, it's Sandra Sherman here. Greetings from Austria. I've made a chord melody arrangement of Wes Montgomery's Road Song. We have plenty of his famous octaves in there as well as nice jazz chords. I'll explain everything slowly and in detail and there's also a slow tempo version at the end of the song. I've made tabs for you to download from the description box below the video. All right, let's play some Wes. song is in the key of G minor and we have a regular jazz song form AABA each of these four sections being eight bars long uh, we're gonna use our thumb exclusively like Wes did and so you put your fingers into your hand and your uh, thumb sticks out and we have two kind of octaves here one is on the set of E, D and A, A, G strings and it's two frets apart and two strings apart. So for example, you're on the fifth fret of E, then your octave is on the seventh fret of D. And you have a string in between those. This is the A string and it needs to be muted, of course, otherwise it, it would sound, a wrong note would sound. So what you do is with your index finger, you're, you're muting that string. And also the upper strings are muted by your index finger. So sounds muted, sounds mute, mute, mute. And your thumb just drums through these. Use your flesh and not your nail if that's possible. Otherwise you don't get that nice warm jazzy dark West Montgomery sound. Then on string pairs A and G you have the same uh, uh, structure, same shape. When you go to the G and B strings, our octaves always are uh, three frets apart and two strings. And also on the G and E strings, we have three frets. We are three frets apart. So these are our octaves, and you need to practice those if you can't do that in the first place uh, before you play that song. All right. Here is the first bar. Let me play it for you quickly so you can hear what it sounds like and then I show you everything slowly and in detail. Here we go. One, two, three, four. All right, we start with octaves from the uh, A string, fifth, and the G string, seventh. And moving one down to the fifth of uh, D string and the eighth of B string. And this is one and, uh, sorry, and one. It starts on four and, three, four and one. Then we uh, go up to the uh, same string pair, pair actually, uh, eighth fret and eleventh fret. And we play this one twice. And we go down to the fifth and eighth, same string pair for one strum, and we go up again and back again. And that last one, that last strum is really loud. It's a staccato thing, loud and short. All right. And now 
now it's for some chord fills and we have a 2-5 G minor 7 going to C9 <clears throat> and a rhythm involved here uh, G minor 7 is the third of E the third 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 of D G and B strings and the rhythm is we have down strum then two strums in the air these are 16 notes we have a 16 note uh, rhythm one E and A and this is up then it's um, a, a rest no sorry it's it's uh, another strum a down strum and then we change to C9 we just glide down to the next string third of A second of D third and third of G and B this one is really stressed because it's a, a two and accent And then we have two more notes on that C9, two more strums, and that last is uh, uh, has a staccato note again. Is a staccato note. So one is a little quieter and just a little more bassier, and the last one is loud and short. That's our fill. Okay, that first thing. second part of the first phrase starts with octaves again, the same as we had before, 5th of A and 7th of the uh, G string. And now we glide up to the 8th and 10th of the same string pair. We play this one twice, go back down to 5th and 7th and back up to 8th and 10th. Play this one twice and the last one is short and loud, it's a staccato note again. And now we have the uh, chord fills again. And this time it's a 2-5 in minor. We have A half diminished, that's the fifth of the E string. You could play that with your middle finger too, I play it with my thumb. Then the uh, fifth and fifth of D and G and the fourth of the B string. If you play it with your thumb like me, you have to either mute the A string by, uh, with your thumb or if you have a short thumb like me, unfortunately, you do that with your middle finger from down below by touching the A string. But don't let, don't let it ring, even though it's an A and it would fit, but an open string always uh, rings uh, longer. And we have that same rhythm thing going on. One E and is in the air. And is up, one E and E, sorry. Then another down. And then we change to D7 flat nine. That's the fifth of A, the fourth of D, the fifth of G, and the fourth by barring uh, over to the B. Five, four, barring, five, four. Another, two more strums. And then we have a rest, so it's one uh, strum less than on the G to C thing. Because this one is a stop. Okay, that last thing. And now the entire phrase number one at slow tempo for you. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. And here's phrase two for you first at regular speed, and then I'll break it all down for you again. One, two, three, four. We start with the offbeat on 4 and, same as in the beginning, 5 of uh, A and 7 of uh, G. 
then go down a set of strings, five of D and eight of B. We go up to the eight and 11 of D and B. We play twice. And then we shape a G minus seven chord around it. If that's so difficult for you, you could play that uh, eight and 11 thing three times. I play it twice and the third time I have a chord on it. So I get, it's more of a chord melody then. And the G minus seven is 10th of A, eighth of D, 10th of G, and that 11th of the B string. Then I glide up to the uh, 10th and, and 13th of the D and B string, same string set. Okay, so that in, uh, uh, pinky glides up and the index goes to the 10th. And now we have a set of chords of E flat major chords. And those are E flat major 7th, that's uh, the 8 barred from the D to the G to the B strings. Here's the root. And the 10th of the uh, E string, that's an E flat major 7 chord. Then I let go my uh, pinky and I have an E flat 6 chord or C minor 7. Then I uh, have an E flat major 7. 6th of A, 8th of D, 7th of G, 8th of B, and the 6th uh, by barring over to the high E string. I play all five strings, strum through them. Okay. From beginning. Then I leave my pinky where it is on the 8th of the B string and I add my index to the 5th of the D string and we have a nice octave again. Okay. Then up to the 10th and 7th, 7 of D and 10th of B. And now glide your index down to the 8th and shape an E half diminished chord and that's the 7th of the A string, the nothing on the D string needs to be muted, the 7th of the uh, G string, the 8th of the uh, B string, and the 6th of the E string. That's an E half diminished chord. Okay, we come from here. And you're faster if you glide down with your pinky. Then we have a C minor 7. That's the 8 of E, 8, 8, 8 of D, G, and B strings. Okay, up till here. That's uh, 5, A7 of uh, G, then uh, D7 sharp 9 chord, 5th of A, 4th of D, 5th of G, and 6th of B. All right. And the last one is a G minor 7 chord without root. That's the uh, third barred all the way from D, G, B to high E string. That's rather quick. Maybe you need to practice this a bit. From here to here, this is an eighth note. All right, and here's the entire phrase number two at slow tempo. One, two, three, four.
section A2 is identical to section A1. So what I'll do next is I'll play section A1 and A2 right after another. Welcome to the B section. Here is phrase number three. One, two, three, four. We start with a C minor seven chord. That's the eight of E, the eight of D, G, and B strings. One, two, and on the end. I play actually a arpeggio in octaves, of course, because it's Wes Montgomery. Sixth of the A string and eighth of the G string. Then fifth of the D and eighth of the B string. And we glide up to the eighth fret of that same string pair, eighth of D, yes, and, and uh, eleventh of B. One, two, Oh, um, yeah, one, two, and, 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 all syncopations. Next we have an F9-13 chord. Root would be here, but we don't play it. So we have 7th of D, 8 and 8 G and B by barring, and the 10th uh, of the E string, that's the 13th of the chord. You count to three, one, two, and on three, you lift your pinky up, press that E string, so we have an F9 chord. Then some more octaves. Seventh of D and eight of uh, B, and down to the fifth and the uh, uh, eighth of that string pair. One, two, three. Those are triplets uh, from F9 on. One, two, triple it. So make sure they are equally in time. Bam, 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 all the same length. One, two. Okay, from beginning. And now it's a B flat major seven chord with a rhythm. Sixth of E, seven, seven of D and G, and the sixth of the B. And we have that same rhythm as in the, um, that we had on the, on the chord fillers before. That's the uh, one and two in the air, then an upstroke, a downstroke, and another downstroke. Two more. One more time. Three, four. Last one is really short. So uh, re release the pressure of your fingers on the left hand, in the left hand. So it stops ringing. Then we have a little fill. There is no, not really a melody in here. Uh, B minor 7, that's the 7th of the E string, and the D, G, and B string as well, barred. And then there's a little... This is, you hear this next thing on, on some records, on, on some others, you don't hear it. There's something different, so I, I went for this one. Uh, 5 of A and 7th of uh, G, then 1 down, 4 and 6. And then there's a chord, uh, fourth of the E string, second of the D string, 
and the fourth of the G string, and that's an E with the with, with its third in bass, the G sharp. So going from E a B, sorry, from B minor to E seven, that's a two five. That last one is a little tricky. Uh, all right, so from B flat. And here's the entire phrase number three at slow speed. One, two, three, four. Here is phrase four, and this is the last four bars of the B section. Here we go. One, two, three, four, one. All right, we move everything from the first phrase down two frets to the B flat now. We are on the sixth of E the 6th of D and G, and don't play the B and E strings. So the B string this time is also muted, because our melody note is on that G string. Okay, so try to lift your uh, ring finger up a bit towards the B string, and it's muted. Then we have, and this is on one end by the way, one and. Then we have the 3rd of D and the 6th of B, and we move it up three frets to the sixth and ninth of D and B. So we have one and two and three and four. And here's another one, third of G and sixth of the E string. All syncopated, all on off beats. One and two and three and four and. Then on the next beat on the one, we have an E flat 13 chord. That's the same chord we had in the previous phrase on the F, now it's on E flat. That's 5 of D, 6, 6 of G and B, and the 8 of the E string. 1, 2, and you let, let your pinky uh, go up and lift it up and press against that E string, 6th fret, we have an E flat 9, 5, 6, 6, 6. Then octaves again, 5 of D and 8 of B. Move it down 2 frets to the 3rd of D and 6th of B. 1, 2, and 3, and... Okay, up until here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, and... Now it's for the A flat major chord, and we have the same rhythm as in the beginning. So A flat is on the uh, fourth of E, five five of D and G, and the fourth of the B string, and we have that rhythm again. Okay, and then it's for the D seven sharp nine chord. That's the F, uh, uh, the the fifth fret of A, fourth of D, fifth of G, and the sixth of the B string. And we have a little rhythm. This is, you strum the first one, then you release the pressure and you get a scratch note. And you strum down and then up. So, two scratch notes. One sounds and two scratch notes. Down, down, up. Then we have a third scratch note on down. And the third no uh, and the last note is being played. Sounds again. Downstroke is the accent. And rest. Okay, here's the entire phrase number four for you at slow tempo. One, two, three, four, one.
A3 section is completely identical to the A1 section and it ends on the, so the song ends on the uh, G minor 7 chord. So this is, these are the last three tones, notes, chords, whatever. Right? And you just end here. Let it ring as long as you like. You can make it short or make it longer. All right, since we heard that uh, A section a couple of times now, I'm not gonna repeat it, but rather play the entire song for you at slow tempo, right? That's next. Hey folks, that was nice. I hope you liked it as much as I enjoyed teaching you the road song. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to never miss out on new videos. I see you next time. Ciao, ciao, baba from Vienna.